Okay, so this is my wife's car, Chrysler 300 SRT8. Anyway, this radio comes on when it wants to. Some of the speakers work, then others, then all of them. Everything's random. We never know when it's going to work. So I've got to try and find out the solution, which I can't find anything online. But I did find someone who knew of the same situation, who had the exact same car, and believe it or not, was in my warehouse complex where I used to have my warehouse. So I went out there and I spoke with the mechanic, and he told me it's more than likely the amplifier, which the amplifier is somewhere in here. So... The first thing I need to do is to open this up and see if I can find the amplifier. And the first screw I have to get out is one under here. So I'm gonna try to dismantle this and remove this cover and see if I can see that amplifier. Okay, so I've undone the screw, that wasn't the person to go to so now I got out my tools to remove some trim I'm going to start here I have to try and depress these, which are a little bit of a pain in the butt, but they come out. Okay, so now I have that one. This bottom one. So, we get those two pieces of trim off, and now we have another screw. Okay. Okay. Ha! I see it. Okay. Disconnect this for now. Oh, I really don't have to. Okay, now I have this out. This is the amplifier right here. This is the one that's giving me the problem. So, what I'm going to do is I got to take a picture of these numbers and go in and see where I can order it. This way, I can put this panel back together and then I'll take it apart again when the new amplifier comes. Write down the top set of numbers. That's what you're going to be looking for when you order this part. Okay, the part just came in. You gotta get that top number. I got mine to absolutely match all the way across. I've heard other people have done it with one number off or whatever, but I found one with the exact number. All right, let's get started. I've got it all open up again. That's the part we're having to replace. And I'm not quite sure how to get to it yet. 
but I think this plate here just comes off so I should be able to reach inside there to get it so let me take that off okay it's a 10 millimeter socket all right let me okay. get now we have that off let's see what we got in here all right I can't seem to find access so I'm gonna try and take this off loose let me see if i can get it out okay there's one screw way up there uh, okay i just remembered i had this a little handy dandy i think i can get it up there with this okay i removed those off the front those were black i i'll identify them in the video then the back has this, depress it, pull them out. Let me do that and then I'm gonna take it in and swap it out with the new one that I have. Okay, now I finally got this bugger out of the car. This top screw here is a pain to get out. I don't even know how I'm gonna get it back in, but Let's go ahead and get this changed out so that I can try it. one that's not working. I bought this on eBay. It's like this. this back on. Okay, let's go mount it in the car and see if it works. Make sure you push these in until you hear it click. They're a little tight but you need to hear that click so you know that it's seated properly. Okay, I have it in. I haven't, I don't have it screwed off yet, but these are the clips. I didn't show you how to take off. They have a clip on the side. You depress and pull it out. But now they just pop right in. Okay, now that they're in, I'm gonna check the radio before I try to screw this back together. Okay, now let's see if the radio works. Oh, we heard you, Neil. You did? Yeah, we hear everything, Neil. We should talk. All right. Yes, this is that big. All right, it's working. Give me a thumbs up. All right, I gotta put this whole thing back together. For two years. 
You All right, that, just right? put it back together the way you saw I took it it's apart. For just $50 a month with that one on the top inside now, is really hard to get to. I'm not sure how I'm going to get it back in, but I'm going to give it a good old try. It took me quite a long time to get it out. All right, building with Papa. Like, subscribe, or ring that bell. Give me a thumbs up. There you go. The radio is working. How about that? Okay, this is what I used to get that screw out and to get it back in. Now, when I was trying to get it out, it's this, this top screw right here. When I was trying to get it out, this brace was in the way. Okay, I'm going to put this brace back in so you'll see where it is, but you need to remove this brace and then you'll have a easier way to get that screw out. It was tough. Had I known I had to remove this brace anyway, because you need to remove the brace to be able to get the whole unit out. I would have done that first. It wouldn't have been so tough. All right, let me put the brace back in and I'll show you. Okay, there's that brace. Remove that brace before you try to take that top screw out. You'll save yourself a whole lot of time. It's only two 10 millimeter uh, bolts holding it in. It's only two 10 millimeter bolts holding it in. So it's easy enough to take off. There's one here and one up under here at this end, okay? Take that out and then when you try to get that screw at the top, you're going to want to have one of those 90 degree screwdrivers and have some patience. It's going to take a little time, but you can do it.